Good afternoon. My name is Anton Ellenbroek and I work for FVO of the UN and I will explain in this presentation how we use the Blue Cloud to develop and support virtual research environments in support of the sustainability of global fisheries. I will do this presentation together with Anne and Lies Nibla, also for FVO of the UN, but there were many more people involved in the development of the VRE and this presentation across FVO, IID France and Forth in Greece. An outline of my presentation. I will first give a quick introduction to the Blue Cloud theories that we use in the fisheries domain. I will give a few examples of fish virtual research environments such as the global record of stocks and fisheries, but also a quick overview of what we do with spatial data analysis and remote sensing. And then Annelies will explain the Global Tuna Atlas and the theory that we use for the Sustainable Development Goal Indicator 1441. She will also highlight a few of the future steps. So the Blue Cloud is a thematic European Open Science Cloud, which means uh, we try to develop a true and fair federation of European marine data infrastructures. As you see in the image on the right, if you an overview of the open infrastructures that we try to bring together in this uh, thematic EOS. The Blue Cloud develops virtual labs for open science on top of a technical framework across ocean data, tools, services, and research outputs. Our objective is to move away from bespoke and private pipes, data pipes, to scalable and efficient reproducible fairy tales, which means we manage the data from where we ingest it in the blue cloud all the way to the products and reports that we make available to our end users. The collaborating partners in this um, VRE includes two clusters of users, one more focused on the fisheries atlas for the monitoring of fisheries, and the other team that uh, will be the global record of stocks and fisheries is more focused on data sharing of already existing information. In the blue cloud, they can share services on the one umbrella, so that makes it an interesting perspective, so you can easily share information across two clusters of users. The data services are uh, brought to us through the blue cloud, and we, behind all this is a community of FVO firms partnership of more than 30 organizations that are also involved in the governance of how we develop and exploit this uh, VRE. To get into the VR, uh, VREs, you need to access the gateway and you see that you have different types of user uh, credentials that we can accept. And then once you enter the VRE gateway, you can make a selection of the virtual labs that you want to use. And once you have selected one, you will be entering the virtual research environments themselves. So in this page, you see there is already a selection made available of VREs. And in all these VREs, they share specific um, facilities. So they share the services that facilitate the collaboration between users. They also share services for analytical tasks that are embedded in a distributed computing infrastructure. And they offer services that realize fair open science working environments that can be different across the VREs. In the Blue Cloud, we develop five demonstrators, one for zoo and phytoplankton, another one on plankton genomics, another on marine environmental indicators, and the last two of more interest to FVO, direct interest of FVO, are the fish and metro of scales that will be the topic of today. And then there is also included an aquaculture monitor. The Blue Cloud demonstrators reuse existing Blue Cloud services and add new ones. They focus on marine ecosystem research, environmental conservation, forecasting and innovation in the blue economy, and not only in Europe, but with a true global scale uh, perspective. Once you have logged into a VRE, so for this example, it shows you a bit what the global record of stocks and fisheries looks like. You see that the, the tools are organized in the top bar, and then on the left bar, you see the status about the use of the, of the VRE. In the center, you can share information with your collaborators in this VRE. And to the right, you see a bit more background information about the VRE that you are currently using. In the global record of stocks and fisheries, we rely on a CCAN registry that is fully integrated in the Blue Cloud to, to host our data. And our data currently hold data from the three largest global information providers on fisheries. Uh, fisheries stocks and fisheries information collected uh, across the globe and brought together in this uh, Blue Cloud. Well, these data are obviously not always the same, so we need a lot of effort to harmonize the records. And for that, we rely on a semantic knowledge base and standard vocabularies and classifications. Data in the CCAN um, was released in October 2020. 
and the GRSF beta, that is then the tool that the exposes this data, is um, continuously being updated with new records and validated and all the new information that is brought to it. The registry is aligned with a GeoNetwork SDI catalog and we use a GeoNetwork to bring the data to a more generic audience. On top of that, we have developed an FVO, an OpenVR viewer, and that is also fully integrated in the infrastructure and that allows you to use maps to display your information on maps and have an interactive uh, map driven interaction with the data in the, in the catalogs. So don't be shy and try this in, uh, by accessing the link that is displayed on the bottom of this page. In the CCAN registry itself, all the data is now well organized, so across organization, across types, and across groups of information. And all the records can be enriched with a large variety of different types of data. So it's not only that we have a, a textual record, but you can attach a lot of different information contained in CSV files like time series, and, but much more. A single record can um, also have a QR code, which means we can then quickly, and the link uh, can be shared as well, and that gives direct access to a singular record from outside for outside users. That is not the only way you can interact with the global record of socks and fisheries, and there's a large uh, variety of APIs available to access and uh, filter the information in the global record of socks and fisheries. So flexibility is key for us, and we really appreciate how the VREs has, have organized their data services. So this we can, for instance, access content from the federated platform, for instance, from AWOLNet or CDataNet, if they make the data available, we can easily ingest it and display it in a VRE. But also data from the other demonstrators, such as the EOV uh, demonstrator, is easy to grab and to display across them and with the fisheries information. But also data processing services from Wikio can be uh, used to, to generate data sets that are interest for fisheries. For instance, weather events or forecasts or satellite detection of floating things. And floating things can be vessels or can be aquaculture cages. In the image on the bottom, you see an example of how we use it to detect aquaculture cages. In the case of the aquaculture cages, we can also then combine the information we find in the satellites or the information we find on maps with the user content. So you can upload your user set and combine that with what is detected in a map. And this helps us to enrich the detected futures and make them really useful for fisheries and aquaculture managers. This was a very quick overview of more generic service. And now Annelies will explain a few details on what we do in the Tuna Atlas. Thank you very much. Thanks, Anton. Today I'm going to discuss about some examples of VREs available via Blue Cloud. The first of which is the Global Tuna Atlas VRE. This was developed with co-funding from H2020, FAO, and IRD. It is a tool to integrate and analyze public domain fisheries data from the five tuna regional fisheries management organizations. Data currently include global catch of the tuna and tuna-like species managed by the five tuna RFMOs. These data sets have been made available through a concerted effort to formalize data sharing between tuna RFMOs and to adopt harmonized data formats and processing to enable efficient yearly updates. The Global Tuna Atlas serves as a pilot for modern statistical data workflows and exchanges among fisheries agencies. These improved workflows will help strengthen data science by improving the collaboration between statisticians, data managers, and data service providers and developers. They will also improve citation of research products, for example, data, codes, and articles, and enable services that facilitate data discovery, access, visualization, analysis, and sharing. The strength of the Tuna Atlas is as an ISO OGC compliant spatial data infrastructure in the D4 Science Blue Cloud. This compliance ensures high reliability, reusability, and sustainability and thus allows similar cases requiring the management of spatial data to quickly establish core services. With the tools available via the Global Tuna Atlas VRE, users can find, query, and access Global Tuna Catch datasets via the Data Catalog or Map Viewer. Enabling these services is made possible by open source tools such as GeoFlow, an R package for managing and automating metadata publication workflows. Another tool used in the Tuna Atlas is the Open Fair Viewer, a reusable map level visualization web component. The Open Fair Viewer is based on international standards 
supports FAIR data implementation, and offers standard data access and sharing that are fully driven by metadata. These tools allow other Blue Cloud VREs to publish and disseminate information about stocks and fisheries. Another VRE currently available was developed to support the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. FAO is the designated United Nations custodian agency for about 10% of the SDGs, including SDG 14, Life Underwater. The SDG 1441 indicator, Proportion of Marine Fish Stocks Within Biologically Sustainable Levels, measures the sustainability of the world's marine capture fisheries by their abundance. This indicator is supported by a suite of web-based tools designed to develop stock monitoring capacity. The SDG 1441 BRE plays a key role in FAO support to the global community by offering web-based computational facilities with considerable processing resources developed through the collaboration between FAO and CNR. It is integrated in the D4 Science and e infrastructure and uses Docker for a lightweight cloud deployment of a community software, the RShiny Stock Monitoring Tool, or SMT. The SMT allows users to run data-limited stock monitoring methods using their own or sample data sets. This tool is used in FAO capacity development workshops as an operational e-training environment and in hands-on interactive sessions to help users develop a better understanding of stock monitoring methods. Downloadable reports are automatically saved to the private workspace of the VRE, enabling users to track their tests and create reproducible results. This VRE and others provides users a shared and private workspace and a community platform to exchange with other users, enabling a community-oriented capacity development environment. In H2020 Blue Cloud, the demonstrators will expand on current services to add new data sets and develop new analytical services to obtain a better view of global fisheries. The cloud environment will facilitate user-defined investigations of fisheries data, combined with ecological, environmental, and human and vessel data layers to contribute to our understanding of global fisheries in an ecosystem context. We invite you to follow Blue Cloud events, activities, and products at the sites listed here. We thank you for your kind attention, and we look forward to taking any questions you may have. Thank you.